Jack, the announcement from the Chinese uh, Ministry of Commerce that came out earlier this week about ending exports of gallium and germanium, where do you want to start? The, the issue here is one of understanding. They didn't stop exporting the materials. What the Chinese said was they were going to restrict the exports, not prohibit them, restrict, which means it's tit for tat with, with the United States. We have restricted the export of machinery to make uh, the latest and greatest chips to China. And we have prohibited our companies from buying Chinese chips for use in their products without permission from our, uh, our state or commerce department. The Chinese are saying, okay, so that's the rules of the game. Now we're playing. So we're, we're going to pick two materials you don't have access to. So that's uh, the metals, uh, metalloid germanium and the metal gallium. Now, the interesting thing is here, the journalists have got this all wrong. With to, to a man, woman, and whatever, they all call these things, these metals, rare earths. They couldn't be more wrong. And it, it's frightening to think that they don't understand what rare earths are, considering how important rare earths are to us. All right, germanium is, quite frankly, a member of the silicon family. Gallium is related to aluminum. Neither one of these can be called rare earths. And, and if I were teaching a course in chemistry, I would fail anybody who did, did something like that. All right, here's the point. The United States Department of Defense actually has stockpiled germanium. That should tell you something. It's really critical. It's what I call a critical, critical mineral, okay? But not gallium. Now, both of those, as I recall from my misspent youth, were produced in the United States, and we were self-sufficient. We have uh, sources of these materials. They come actually as byproducts. Of, of common materials like germanium is a byproduct of zinc and silver and can be obtained from coal. Uh, gallium is a byproduct of uh, aluminum. Now, both of those were once produced in, in abundance in the United States. I'm talking about the germanium and gallium because we produce so much of the metals that can, that of which they're a byproduct that we, we, we find uh, our gallium needs and our germanium needs out, out of those materials. Okay, we stopped because the Chinese got into the processing of these materials in a big way. And pretty soon it, it became uh, obvious that it was much cheaper to, to buy them from China than here. Now keep in mind that when the Chinese were setting up to produce both of these metals, they had no use for them. They were strictly a service operation. Uh, 25 years ago, there, there, I doubt that, there, that the Chinese had ever produced a, a computer chip. 25 years ago, uh, I can't imagine that they were making semiconductors using gallium. Uh, there is one other use they might have had. Uh, gallium is used in making uh, atomic bombs. So perhaps they, they were doing it for that. But we simply stopped doing it because what the heck? Didn't have to. You could get you could buy it from China or us. So now all of a sudden, the Chinese who are very aware of critical materials and have been have been organizing themselves to be self-sufficient in, in the and secure in their supplies of all of these materials that under underlie our modern technological society. They they took, I'm sure. Once we started with the arguments about uh, computer chips that, that the Chinese could be using to spy on us and all that, and we started saying that publicly and embarrassing the Chinese and insulting them. Now, they may be doing these things. I'm not saying that they're innocent. I'm just saying that somehow or other, our government doesn't seem to understand that, that cultures outside of the American East Coast may be different from those on the American East Coast. For example, you keep telling 
the second largest economy in the world, and, and perhaps the proudest people in the world of their multi-thousand-year-old heritage that you're liars, you're cheats, you're trying to screw us, blah, blah, blah. Pretty soon they get annoyed. So, uh, the you, you know, our Secretary of the Treasury for the United States, Ms., Mrs. Yellen, is in uh, Peking, uh, Beijing today, okay? And all the reporters, the same ones who think germanium and gallium are rare earths, they're saying, well, uh, she's going to straighten things out with the Chinese. And you, you know what I think? I'll bet when she landed and went to see the, the first Chinese, they started telling her, hey, what the hell does your country think they're doing? Now you want you want to discuss economics with us while you're insulting us. You call us pariahs. You call our, our great leader. He's a dictator, a third, blah, blah, blah. Okay. This problem with germanium gallium is not going to go away anytime soon until our diplomats get diplomatic and our our, our so-called uh, experts in Washington figure out that we should have never gotten out of the germanium and gallium business in the United States. We can go back to it. I, I was asked uh, uh, frequently in the last two days, well, would it take decades? To, uh, I, I, I make, I'll make you a bet we could be back into producing gallium and germanium in the United States in a useful form for electronics uh, in six months, seven months. I mean, you. this is not excuse the expression, rocket science. This We develop these technologies. Guess what? This old man, the first thing I ever did in life was ultra purification of metals for electronics. I knew how to process gallium and germanium 60 years ago. And there's been a lot of, lot of work since. It could be done, okay? We have to stop going, oh my God, the sky is falling and, and just start doing what we should have been doing all this time. That, that's my commentary.